Less than four years ago, I handed this administration the strongest border in American history. But you can see on the chart that saved my life. That was the chart that saved my life. I said, look it, I'm so proud of it. I think it's one of the greatest. It was done by the Border Patrol, one of the greatest charts I've ever seen. It showed everything just like that. You know the chart. Oh, there it is. That's pretty good. Wow. Last time I put up that chart, I never really got to look at it. But without that chart, I would not be here today. Never got to look at it. I said, you got to see this chart. I was so proud of it. And by the time I got to there, I never got to see it that day. But I'm seeing it now, and I was very proud. If you look at the arrow on the bottom, that's the lowest level. The one on the bottom, heavy red arrow, that's the lowest level of illegal immigrants ever to come into our country in recorded history, right there. Right there. And that was my last week in office. And then you see what happened after I left. Look at the rest. And if you go out a little bit further, it's getting to be a little bit old. But I love it anyway, right? But you can go much higher with those numbers. Look what happened right after that. The invasion began. We had the opposite. We stopped the invasion. But the invasion that we stopped was peanuts by comparison to what happened after I left. Look at what happened after I left. They took over our country. We ended all catch and release. We shut down asylum fraud. We stopped human trafficking and forged historic agreements to keep illegal aliens on foreign soil. We want them to stay on their soil. Under the Trump administration, if you came in illegally, you were apprehended immediately and you were deported. You went right back. The current administration terminated every single one of those great Trump policies that I put in place to seal the border. I wanted a seal border. Again, come in, but come in legally. You know how unfair it is? So many people, hundreds of thousands of people, have been working for years to come into our country. And now they see these people pour into our country at levels that are unprecedented. It's so unfair. And we're not going to do it. We're not going to stand for it. They suspended wall construction, ended remain in Mexico. We had a policy, remain in Mexico. You think that was easy to get from the Mexican government? But I said, you must give it to us. If you don't give it to us, there will be repercussions. And they gave it to us, but not easy. Canceled our safe third agreements demolished Title 42, implemented nationwide catch and release. That's catch and release, where we catch them and release them into our country. I had we catch them and release them into Mexico. It was a slight difference. <laughs> and took 93, this is the previous administration, 93 executive actions to throw open our border to the world. The entire world is pouring into our country because of this very foolish administration. The greatest invasion in history is taking place right here in our country. They are coming in from every corner of the earth, not just from South America, but from Africa, Asia, the Middle East. They're coming from everywhere. They're coming at levels that we've never seen before. It is an invasion indeed. And this administration does absolutely nothing to stop them. They're coming from prisons. They're coming from jails. They're coming from mental institutions and insane asylums.